Today's lesson is about taking measurements with the vernier caliper, answering examination questions on how to take measurements with the vernier caliper. Considering the question number one below, the diagram below shows a portion of a vernier caliper. What is it reading? Remember, just the way we did it, when we were taking the practical aspects on how to take measurements with the vernier caliper, you look at the reading you have on the main scale. This is the main scale, and this is the vernier scale. What reading do we have on the main scale, just before the vernier scale? We have four in centimeter, four centimeters, and 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 comes just before this vernier scale. So we write four. 0.5. Then we pick the reading on the vernier scale that lines in that is in line with one of the readings on the main scale. And which reading is that? One, two, three, four, five. Is it five that is in line with one of the readings on the main scale? Reading five on the vernier scale is in line with one of the readings on the main scale. So we pick five here. That's 4.55 centimeter. That is our answer. Look at the second question. Question number two. What is the reading on the vernier caliper shown below? Now look at this. On the main scale, this indicates that this place has, we have truncated this part and this part, so we can focus on the question. Now look here. We have seven on the main scale. Eight. We have eight centimeter. I should have written this here. OK. This um, centimeter should be here, but you know it has cut off. Centimeter is normally indicated in the beginning of the main scale. So here, we have eight before the vernier scale. Eight, eight points what? None of these division come before the vernier scale, so you are putting 8.0. Here, I put 4.5, because after four, we have division one, two, three, four, five. We have division five still on the main scale, before the vernier scale came in. That's why I had this five here. But here, I have no smaller division before the vernier scale. So I'm putting zero. Now, on the vernier scale, which of the division comes in line with one of the division on the main scale? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's nine. Let's see. Seven. Good. It's seven. You can see seven on the vernier scale is in line with one of the division on the main scale. Our answer is 8.07 centimeter. Let's see how we can answer SSE past question on this topic. Below here is an SSE question on this topic. And how would we provide answer to this question? You see, SSCE. June 1988, Physics 2, Objective Test Question. And this is question number three. OK, just the same way. We have six on the main scale. So we write six here. Point what? What we didn't do we have a similar division on the main scale just before the vernier scale? One, two. We have two, 6.2. And after that, we pick the reading on the vernier scale that is in line with one of the divisions on the main scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is also nine. Nine on the vernier scale is in line with one of the division. We are not interested in this value. We are just interested in, in this nine that is in line with one of the divisions on the main scale. That's 6.29. They put centimeter in front of it because readings on the vernier caliper are taken in centimeters. Thank you.